Hello and welcome to this video. Do you ever feel like your greenhouse isn't big enough? Do you wish you had more space to grow plants indoors during the winter months so you could actually make money? Well, I have a solution for you. This is the 20 times 20 greenhouse mod, which, believe it or not, expands your greenhouse to just a bit bigger. You have spaces to plant your trees indoors. So you can have fruit trees growing and not have to worry about them taking up space or cutting them down by accident. You can have plants growing and that is a lot more space than what you'd usually get. I mean, tons. I've planted parsnip seeds in every spray space prior to, the, prior to starting the video. Um, I'm going to bring them all up as soon as they've grown and then see how much money you can make. I'm using parsnips because that's what everybody starts off with. You've also got a space back here with an aquarium. I have no idea if there's any purpose to this aquarium. The nice background of glass. But you could put chests up for seeds you wish to plant, or furnaces, or anything up here. I mean, I don't think there's any limit. I mean, obviously, I think casks is something that you can't place up there, but you can't really place casks that in many places. Let's see, I have a cask. Can I plant it? Oh yeah, you can. I didn't realise that. So you can even use that to make a winery if you really wanted to. So I know the cellar doesn't have that much space. Okay, I see there's ton once again, tons of space. You can grow any trees you want. I have an apple right now. Let's see if I can get a spring tree going. Uh, looking for spring. And due to mod trickery, I guess go. Ooh, she doesn't look like you can get them to grow. I don't know if they're gonna fruit in here, but the plants definitely will. See? Ignore the rapid tapping, that is just me spamming my grow key. I'm sure there's a way to configure it differently. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I enjoy using this one because, say, as I mentioned at the start, in the winter months I often, oh, that is not fun for the eyes, I often want to grow stuff or actually try and be slightly um, productive, but due to obviously you can't grow stuff outside, it's nearly impossible. The alternative thing I'll do is set up things like sweet corn or... Um, even ancient fruits, growing ancient fruits in here, but it tends to be like sweet corn or beans, which grow uh, will constantly drop things, and then I just set up a sprinkler system. Now I'm gonna doing it this way, believe it or not, it's gonna take forever. So with my magical modding, if I can hit the button, I'm just gonna do it this way. I think I'm at only level one farming. I don't think I'm at level 1 farming. So, obviously, depending on what um, professions you go into as you um, select them once you upgrade your farming, depends on exactly what you're going to get. Let's see, so far I've got tons. I've got over 100 parsnips, which says something about the amount of space you're going to have. Usually when I set up with the original version of the greenhouse, what tends to happen is I'd use iridium sprinklers and as I like to try and place them efficiently, you can place them efficiently down both sides, but you end up with a column of two spaces which aren't being covered. Obviously on this, this really will get rid of the problem, I'm not sure how many you could actually set up. Finish so that all of them. I think that's all of them. So that's over 400. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, that's 400 spaces actually. Uh, 80, 90. Yeah, that's 400 spaces exactly. Which I say is a lot of space for crops. So even if you do put sprinklers down. 
that's still a lot of space for it to cover. I mean, I think that's it. Nah, I'm looked up somewhere. Must be it. That's a whole extra area anyway. You should have a special awareness type mod thing, but there you go. So, and that's, I say, tons of space, you keep doing that all the way down, and you'll easily have a good crop. Now, something gets awesome is awesome, if you don't have sprinklers yet, I mean, why wouldn't you at this point? If you, by the time you get this, you really should have a supply of sprinklers. These water containers work. So you can carry on sprinkling, you don't have to keep going outside. Pretty sure they all work, as you do. And it just makes life a bit easier. And so this is very... I also like this, it's really pretty. The inside's nice and textured. And you've got shelving, which doesn't work as pure cosmetic. So yeah, so you can use it for whatever you want up here, storage, blah blah blah. You have massive space to grow whatever you want. I mean, I'm sure you can even try to do some mega crops. I'm not sure if that will actually work in a greenhouse, but I'm sure you can try. And okay, so what we're just going to do is going to quickly throw in all 400 parsnips and we'll see what we'll get from it. Did I drop those? Mm. Missing everything today. But yeah. And obviously it doesn't change the outside. And it only costs you a ton of random resources in the community centre or your soul via jo Joja. Level 1 farming, level 2 farming, 3 farming. Hmm. I wonder if when they say no XP of harvest of sickle, if they were lying. Because that is a lot to get. That's 15,008 gold. Just for 400 parsnips. Kind of annoyed it was and 8. I wish it was and 10. Nice round numbers. But ta da! So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will link the mod down in the description. Uh, yeah, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me I'm terrible, tell me I'm awesome, either way, I don't care. A comment to comment. <laughs> Already got two achievements. Bye!